Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. For those of you that are new here, and this is my channel where I talk about all things fashion, beauty, and just my everyday life. For today's video, I have a January favorites video. I'm really excited about this because it's going to be my first ever favorites video. I personally love watching these and I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys some of the things that I've been enjoying this past month. I'm going to be talking about my fashion favorites, my beauty favorites, and then my lifestyle favorites and some random things. So I thought I would start off with my beauty favorites first. I have a lot of really fun things that I've been just loving this month. So for my first beauty favorites, I'm going to be talking about the brand Amika. And I have three items from them that I've been using non-stop. They're all hair care. Their whole brand is hair care. They have lots of really amazing things. And their packaging is really cute. But I'll start off with what I've been using. I've been using their shampoo, which looks like this, and conditioner set. Um, I have very like oily hair, but then the ends get kind of dry. And I found that these two products together have been making my hair get less oily throughout the day and then it leaves it really shiny. And I found that I haven't been having to wash my hair as often because again, my hair doesn't get as oily. And then the third product that I've been using from them is this reset exfoliating shampoo. And I use this once a week. Mondays basically and I use this to just like reset my scalp So like this shampoo has like little exfoliating balls in it And so when you rub it into your scalp It's exfoliating your skin and getting rid of any dead skin that's there and then just restarting Your week so I found that this really helps make my hair really shiny and look really healthy throughout the week Because it's again taking off all of that dead skin and letting your hair grow from just like a clean fresh follicle i think but yeah i've been using these for the past month i'd say and i found that my hair feels and looks a lot stronger and healthier and again they all smell like really really good yeah they smell really like floral and fresh and then again like this this smell stays in your hair so you smell good all day and the packaging is just to die for how cute is this continuing with hair care my sister got these both for me for Christmas. Um, Gisu, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's a hair oil brand. They make all of their hair oils using honey that they actually, I think they harm, they, ugh, they farm all of their honeybees and they get the honey from the bees that they're actually farming. And so I'm basically using the hair oil. It looks like this. I think this is what they're known for. And then my sister also got me their hair perfume, which smells so good. Um, I typically use this at night after a shower, after I blow dry my hair, I kind of like put this over to seal everything and then I sleep with it and it leaves my hair really shiny throughout the day. And then for this, I'll typically, in the morning when I'm leaving to go to work or just start my day, I'll spray like two pumps of this in my hair and then shake it out. That way that my hair just smells really good. And then typically when I wear this, I don't wear my perfume just cause I feel like it's a lot and this has enough smell in it. And it just leaves my hair smelling great throughout the day. My last beauty favorite of this month, it's really small, but I've been really loving it. And it's the Lano Lips Lip Treatment. I mentioned this in my what I carry in my bag video because I put this in my bag and I just bring it with me everywhere. But this lip treatment is amazing. My lips get really dry in the winter, but honestly all year round my lips are really dry and I found that this is like the only thing that actually nourishes them. And they have lots of different smells. This one's in strawberry, but I think they have like mint, mango, all different smells. So you can choose whatever one you like. But this one I found, I've used so many different lip treatments and this is the only one that truly works for my lips. So now we're gonna be talking about some of my fashion favorites of this month. Obviously, there are so many different trends that I've been loving that I would love to put in this video, but I wanted to really narrow it down to the few things that I've been truly loving and seeing myself like pull from my closet the most. And the first thing will be fun, colorful sweaters. I feel like I'm always just wearing a fun sweater, some jeans, tennis shoes, and then I just call in an outfit. So I have some fun sweaters that I've been wearing. Um, I can show you a few of them. And then if you want, you can always check out my Instagram. It's at madison.jones with two E's. And I post lots of outfit pictures on there so you can see some of the other stuff 
that I have in my wardrobe, but I'm gonna show you a few that I've been just obsessed with recently, and I'll tell you where they're from. And all these brands that I got these from, they carry lots of other similar things, and if not, they have more fun items in their newer collections. To start, I have this really cute, this is Paloma Wool. It's this pink turtleneck sweater. I guess it's more of a coral. This was in my What I Wear in a Week video. Check that one out too. Lots of other fun sweaters in there too. Um, this one's Paloma Wool. They have lots of amazing knitwear, obviously, wool. Um, and I've been wearing this constantly. I'll typically wear it with like a pair of jeans. I have found myself wearing it with like some sparkly pants, which have been really fun. But yeah, this is just a great statement in itself. Let me throw that over there. And then next, I have this House of Sunny blue. It's like it's actually a vest and a sweater. You can take off the arms and turn it into a sweater vest. And again, this goes on the theme of colorful sweaters. Obviously, it has that argyle blue going on. And I think this is great because, again, you can turn it into a vest. So you can change up the whole look by taking the sleeves off. But if it's cold, you can leave the sleeves on and it could be really cozy. This is House of Sunny. They have lots of really fun items. I think they come out with new collections pretty often, so I always like to check their website to see what they have on there. I know a lot of other stores carry them as well. I know Isaleys carries them, and I believe it's Lisa Says Ga also carries them on their website. So I check that out. I'll link these down below because I think they still have this available to buy. But I've been loving this. So much fun to style. And then I guess I'm only going to be talking about Paloma Wool and House of Sunny. How basic of me. But this is another Paloma Wool sweater. It's a bit different. Like a different style than my other ones. It's a really thin open knit as you can see. And I'm going to be honest. It is a little bit itchy so you have to layer it. I typically wear like a turtleneck underneath or a long sleeve shirt. Because the wool is itchy. I'm going to be honest. Um, but I love the colors of this. I found myself just wearing this with jeans and calling it an outfit. Fun sweaters I think are going to be popular even through spring, maybe even summer depending on where you live. So that's just what I've been loving this month. And then another favorite fashion item of this month would be this. Havis, ooh it's loud. Havisk like crossbody bag. Kind of goes over like this. Um, it's the same brand as the what is in my bag video bag that was in that. So it's a band, a, not a band, a brand based out of Copenhagen and they make a lot of amazing bags, mainly using recycled material or vegan leather. And this one has this amazing strap. You can change it out for like a solid regular strap, but I like the chain and it carries a lot surprisingly. I typically wear this when I go grocery shopping or just going on my walks because it's small, it goes around your body, you don't have to worry about carrying an actual purse. And it goes with a lot because of the neutral colors. So this has been my go-to bag this month. My aunt got it for me, so thank you for that, I love it. And I can see myself wearing this all year round forever because it's just such a classic bag. So my last fashion favorite would be these sunglasses that I got from Crop Eyewear. And they come in this really cute little like purple velvet case. They are these maroon tiny sunglasses. I love this style lens because I feel like it's just so classic. Um, and it goes with a lot. And surprisingly the maroon goes with a lot of outfits. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't because they're not like black or just like a basic neutral color. But these go with a lot, surprisingly. And I love the fit of them. I definitely have trouble finding sunglasses that fit my face right, which is why I just never wear sunglasses. But I found that I've actually been wearing these. I put them in my purse and if I'm out and it's sunny, even though it really hasn't been that sunny, I'll throw these on with any outfit and it goes with everything. So I've been loving these. I have never bought any sunglasses from Crop Eyewear and these are amazing quality. They're very sturdy. It came really fast. I think it took like maybe a week and a half to get here, which is pretty fast given what's going on right now with COVID and a lot of mailing is being delayed. These came really fast. They are amazing quality and I love them. So let's talk a bit about my lifestyle favorites of the month of January. The first two things that I'm going to talk about aren't products or just things that I've been doing. So one, I've been trying to do little bits of morning movement every morning when I wake up. I found that I used to think that I like had to like do a full workout every day, like run and 
do all that and I found that that's not works best for me so I try and wake up every morning do some stretching maybe do some like leg or butt workouts on like the mat on the ground and do some core and then I just breathe and I think that for me is a great way to start the day I found that I'm more awake throughout the day and it's just starts my day on a positive note so i've been trying to do that every morning i just found that i've been a lot more awake during the day i've felt better about myself so i've been trying to incorporate that i mean i also do some other workouts like i like going on long walk that's another thing that i've been loving doing this i love going on long walks in the morning i've gone on a few with my mom um, with Lucky, my dog, and I think it's just a great time to be outside, get some fresh air, and just talk to the people that you love, or I don't know, take some time to be with yourself and really just think and be present. So I've been loving those two things, morning movement and long walks. So now I have two things that are physical lifestyle, things that I've been enjoying this month. And the first two things are these this planner and this journal that i got i got this off of the website paper piper i could see saying that wrong but you could design your own planners and notebooks they have all these really amazing patterns you can like get your name written on it which i did and i got this notebook that i haven't written in yet actually i have i just wrote like some work things on there that i need to know and reference to so I have that I also want to start just writing down like my goals just random little bits of information that I want to write in here really this is just gonna be like my brain put on to a piece of paper that's what I want this to be and then I got this planner again it has my name and then the year on it and I love how this planner is set up it has all of the months at the beginning and then it has each day and then at the beginning of each month they have like a section where you can write your monthly goal to-do list important dates and wish lists and i found that even though i'm not in school now i always use the planner because i was in school but even though i'm not in school now this has been great to just keep me organized i know when i have work i know when i want to film something or if i have any payments that are due like i can put it in here and remember hey i have to pay this bill this day or i have work from this time to this time i need to talk to this person on this day so this has been helping me like keep things in in order um which has helped me not get as stressed because i don't need more stress so i've been loving these two things my last lifestyle thing would be this computer case from Bagu. Um, I carry my computer to and from work and I didn't have a computer case before and I found that this has been really helpful. It's cute, it's stylish, and it's protecting my computer. And I have lots of fun patterns. I just chose this one and what else can I say? It's just great. It does its job, it looks good, I love it. Lastly, let's talk about some random things that I've been loving. I have been loving making smoothies in the morning. In specific, I've been loving banana, mango, oat milk, date, mint smoothies. Putting mint in your smoothies is a game changer. It makes your smoothie taste so good, so gourmet. My mom grows mint in our backyard, so I just walk out there in the morning, cut my mint, put it in my smoothie, and it tastes so amazing so i've been loving that i've also been loving the show the crown i don't know if any of you guys have been watching it but i've been watching it with jay we're on season one because we want to start from the beginning i know everyone's talking about like the diana season princess diana season but i want to start from the beginning so i'm on the season about queen elizabeth which is really good really like i don't know it's really interesting because i don't know a lot about the royal family and so it's fun to learn about so i'm almost done with season one and then I'm just gonna continue watching it until the most recent season. So that's been something that I've been loving. And then I've also been really liking some songs. Oh my God, I wanna show you some songs that I've been liking. Let me grab my phone. Okay, some songs that I've been liking. I don't know why, but I never really talk about music because I have this weird thing that I'm like, people are gonna think that I have lame music taste, but whatever. I like these songs. I like the song Drive Safe by Rich Brian. I like the song The Spins by Mac Miller. 
A Little Bit Wild by Golden Vessel, Sunday Best by Surfaces, um, what else? Prisoner, Miley Cyrus, Texas Sun by, I'm not even going to say it, I'll just put the name here because I'm going to totally butcher that. But yeah, those are some songs that I've been listening to a lot that I've been really liking. Yeah. And then my last favorite that I'm going to be showing is something that my cousin got me for Christmas. And it's been a big part of my life now. So the last thing that is on my January favorites is this blanket. Oh my gosh. My cousin got it for me for Christmas. It's by the brand, let me find it, Unhide. As you can probably tell, it's a huge blanket. It's like humongous and it keeps you so warm. So every night, because I tend to go to sleep with my arms like this, I don't know if anyone else sleeps like that, but then I'll like, my arms get cold, so I use this really long blanket to like cover my arms and like my head, and it's so cozy, and then I'll just like use this to like cuddle up and like watch a movie on my bed, and it's just so cozy, and it's like the best present that anyone can ever give you, because who would have thunk that you would be getting a blanket, and then you end up using it every single day. So yeah, that's my very last favorite for my July or January 2021 favorites video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun for me to film. It was fun to just see all the things that I've been loving this month. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and press subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Also check out my Instagram. I post a lot of outfit pictures and fashion stuff on there. So that'll be fun to see. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.